Here at Cortico, we always strive to support healthcare professionals to save time, work less, accomplish more, and most importantly, to make more time for themselves. Hi, I'm Alfred Wong, Chief Operations Officer here at Cortico. In this video, I'll be giving a tour of the Cortico platform, starting with the patient journey and ending with how staff and doctors see the appointment in their EMR. If you have any questions, I'll throw some links in the description below so you can reach out to our team. So let's get started. We'll start on this demo clinic website, which we built to show how medical clinics interact with Cortico. Clinics can use direct links to drive patients to where they need to go. For example, booking a generic walk-in clinic, seeing a neurologist, or booking a telehealth appointment. I'll click to book an appointment in Vancouver to kick off the patient journey. On this landing page, we show an optional feature which connects Cortico to our iPad kiosk terminal. It allows patients to check in and update their demographic information. It's also a queuing system that clinics can use to display the number being served. We also have a multi-language support in both the desktop, mobile, and iPad terminal system. This is the healthcare service selection page and it's customizable according to the clinic services. Each service here, which we call a workflow, has its own custom rules. We have a sophisticated rules engine that we're constantly updating. Just to give an example, each workflow can have custom intake questions. Appointment types can be restricted to be in clinic, phone or telehealth only, and all variations in between. Some workflows can be for roster patients only. And that's just an example of what the rules engine can do, but basically when clinics sign up to Cortico, we help them replicate their exact service model into the platform. Now I'm gonna proceed with booking an appointment. I'll fill in a pre-existing health card number for a dummy patient. And oh wait, what's this? All right, I no-showed for a previous appointment and the clinic wants me to pay off the no-show fee before I can book an appointment. This feature that we have drives a bit of revenue for the clinic while avoiding some awkward conversations with patients. So I'll enter in another dummy patient to proceed with the booking process, selecting a doctor and typing in a reason for visit, which for this workflow is simply a text entry. Just to show you what a custom form would look like, a backend of this workflow. So in the birth control, for example, we can ask custom questions. In the family doctor workflow, we can ask yes, no questions. And in the fit to flight, as another example, we can have predefined selections, which for this one will kick off the credit card collection form because this is a private medical service. But back to the demo. Select doctor, uh, put this as a prescription renewal. And in this next section here, uh, we have a pharmacy module, which uh, automates some of the fax number data that gets uh, that's required for the faxing of prescriptions. Uh, in the final section here, uh, we have the patient uh, verify and update their contact information, which is crucial in order to receive Cortico's automated SMS and email reminders. So now we come to another part of our rules engine. So Cortico looks into the doctor's schedule within the EMR and presents a real-time availability according to template codes. So for example, doctors can have schedule like three hours of in-clinic service in the morning, followed by four hours in the afternoon for phone calls for pediatric services, and then finally two hours in the evening for telehealth walk-ins. For this demo, I'll select the video call for the 17th at 10.15. Nope, I booked the appointment for the 17th, so let's select the 18th. Now the appointment is booked and Cortico will proceed to line up the automated appointment confirmation emails, the reminder emails, and the SMS notifications. 
if the patient wants to enter the video waiting room early for this one, because it's a telehealth appointment, uh, this link will show up. Uh, they can go there to upload photos, documents, and leave any messages for the doctor. They can also test their audio, make sure that it works. Now I'll show you what the doctor sees using the demo Oscar instance. I'm going to navigate to the 18th and you'll see the appointment that I booked. The cortical information is written directly into the EMR. And you also notice some new buttons here. This is actually our Oscar plugin, which I'll get into in just a bit. And you remember that we booked a telehealth appointment, right? Uh, so I'll click this button to show you the doctor's view from the other side. The patient's information is displayed here on the bottom left. And on the right side is a chat box with the patient, which with the patient wants to include any files or photos or messages. And you see um, when we were just on the other side, the patient had entered the room and the doctor can send any messages here. The doctor can also uh, get access to the Oscar master file and send any attachments here to the patient. Now I'll click leave the appointment to show you the day sheet function, which is generally for staff and doctors to manage the patients. Go to the 18th. So some of the tasks that can be done here is to automate sending the information and forms to the patient and requesting the patient upload a photo, all of which would then uh, be present here. There's also some uh, buttons to send information, um, send custom SMS messages and whatnot to the patient. So now I'll go back to the Oscar interface to, and, and I want to spend a few moments talking about our Oscar plugin. So as of early May, we've made a free to use plugin for Chrome and Firefox browsers. It only works for Oscar based EMRs at the moment. Clinics can download this extension and start using some of the free automation tools to help with their day-to-day -day tedious tasks. Some of the features which require API access uh, will require a paid subscription. But just to give you a sense of what the plugin is capable of, you know, you'll notice the cortical icon in the bottom right. This contains a lot of the settings that drives the buttons that you see in some of the screens. Some of the automations here include uh, bulk checking on the MSP eligibility and then auto setting the preferred pharmacies within Oscar. And you also notice that this button can be moved around, especially useful for clinics who have their own custom Grease Monkey scripts um, and are afraid that sometimes this icon might block those Grease Monkey scripts. So in the appointment data, appointment record, sorry, uh, the recall button launches the computer email client with pre-filled information on the next appointment. So if you recall, we booked it for May 18th at 10 o'clock. And it would actually have the patient's email address uh, all populated in there for you. So it makes it really convenient to send emails out. In the uh, main interface here, uh, there's, a, there's a three dot icon which is essentially a quick access menu bar. Uh, gets gets you to the day sheet, uh, the portal page. Uh, if it's telehealth, it gets you to the video appointment. Um, and if your computer is set up for VOIP, your staff can actually call the patients directly from the computer. In the encounter notes, and I'm gonna expand the screen. Uh, on, on your screen, you probably have a cleaner interface. Uh, I'm zoomed in just for the purpose of this demo. But in the encounter notes, we have a messaging system that supports both email and SMS. The messages can be saved into the encounter note and can responses can be created for recurring messages. In the documents page, we've expanded the patient messaging functionality to be able to send securely send documents to the patient, which can also be copied uh, to the encounter for an audit trail. 
And that's a quick overview of the Cortical platform. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the latest Cortical updates and free EMR training resources. If you think Cortical might be a fit for your practice, reach out to us for a free one-on-one -on -one conversation. Thanks for watching.